Hello and welcome to Splodo One Review, where it's one game, one review, and one score out of 40 to go on our leaderboard. So, I'm Oliver Eaton, also known as the Blue Sun. And without further ado, let's get to today's first game. But first, how is the scoring done? Here it is. And here is how the scoring system works. 10 points are awarded for the yellow, which is first impression, green, which is skill, Red, which is graphics, and blue, which is story. They add together to equals a grand score out of 40 to rank them on a board. Alright, so this is a featured game again. Uh, congratulations for that, Sweden Platformage. This is the Mysterious Temple by Sweden Platformage. So you have finally found it uh, after years of dedicating your life to Akele. You have finally found one of the greatest myths of all time, I'm guessing it's going to say. Oh, all time. Oh, of all time. Uh, people debated its existence and born... Blah, blah, blah. It's something you just twist. We've got a good story set up here. Uncovered. Uh, cave. Deep in the cave. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, loving this. Good cave. So, I love it straight away. We've got a good variation. I mean, a good variation in the background and that, and that, you know, that shows that people put a lot more time into it. So uh, we've got a bit of background story here, the Temple of the Holy Gods, uh, and it's amazing that treasure at the bottom level, uh, the remains of a god. Uh, we're entering. You did all you know, so I'm guessing some... No, wait, maybe not. We've got nice patterns going on. This would be your biggest mistake of your entire life. So we kind of got the tension builder. So straight away we are greeted with story, uh, the graphics. This, there's not much skill in that level, but we're getting into the more skill levels now. Ooh. So first impressions was, ooh. Looks good. Uh, a bit of detail here. I say bit of detail. Good detail so far. Uh, I don't know which way to go. We never really know which way to go in these kind of games. Oh. Okay, so there's a small little puzzle. So we've got a good variation on the things used, and of course they normally... Ooh, I hate water. They tend to go towards the uh, marks of skill for variation and graphics. So we've got the underwater. We've got... Ah, we've got a grenade and a torch. They could come in useful. So let me... I'll do a change in. Okay. So hopefully it's not too laggy. Obviously I'm filming in bulk here. So it seems everything loading at once. Kind of likes us out. Oh no, do we have to do a bit of parkouring? This is going to go so well. Come on, just jump up. Oh, lagging and parkouring, I hate it. Tell you what, it's, it's a pretty good structured game by the looks of it. We kind of got the fit. Oh, for crying out loud. Hate the lag on games. <laughs> well, it's completely frozen now. I might use that grenade to kill myself for a minute. Well, it seems we're getting nowhere, and we've already wasted time now. Now, I'm going to use this grenade to blow something up, so... Good. Oh, no! Yeah, get up! No, we've lost it again. Right, we've got one more grenade. Wait, all right. Jump, 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 jump. No, yes! We've, we've got, we've got through it without blowing it up. Get up. God, it's just the noises. I don't even know what's happening now, because I'm just jammed staring at him. Oh, crying out loud. Every single minute. This is why I hate platformer games. There's no disrespect to Sweden platformers, because he's absolutely talented. There's no doubt in that. 
Uh, it seems that he's got a great uh, trend of good games from the uh, platformer game creator lately. And my laptop's got a great trend for being absolutely shite, and I'm good to say that. Fucking hell. It's doing absolute flips my laptop. Now. Come on. No, don't kill me now. It's not fair. I want to see this game. It looks great and it looks hard. Oh. Okay. Well, let's go through what we've seen. It's definitely not enough to score yet, but uh, let's see. I'm trying to find out my score sheet. Okay, so first impressions, they were, little, they were quite good. We've got a story set up. Uh, it wasn't an instant hit, uh, but it was good graphics. I'm going to give it around about a 7 or a 8 for first impressions, because it really weren't bad. Uh, graphics, of course, is the point. We've got great variations. So far, that's hovering around 7, uh, seven or 8 mark. Skill, um, we've got a small puzzle, but I haven't seen enough yet to make a judgment on skill, of course. Uh, and story, we've got a good story, so I'm going to put a rock hard... Eight for story so far, uh, as it stands. But I want to see a lot. I need to see a lot more of the game. I don't want to. I want. I. I need to. I need to see more of the game. Oh no! I forgot. I was start right back at the beginning. Where's this going? Okay, that's good. So at least this level's not as laggy. I, I really don't understand why. Arc platformer games are so laggy. They've always been laggy, even the ones with nothing on it. And that's on every computer I use. It's just always been laggy. It must be my bandwidth or internet. Anyway, there's me moaning to myself. Let's try and get something out of this game. Uh, again, it's not because the game is fine. It is just totally my internet. And I know, I know Mr. Sweet Platformers will probably complain at this one, but things are things. I want to jump up here, because it seems. Oh, can you? Do is not is it not a parkour? And I don't actually know if it's parkour or not. There. It's actually give me a headache. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, it's fine. Right, we're back here. We got here quick. We've only got one more time because I'm going to absolutely throw the computer out the window in a minute. Right, I moved left. We go jump and then move left again. Nope. I don't know what's happening now. Where is it going? Come on! Right, here's the overview of a review. I'm sorry, I can't review it. If you have any videos or any gameplay, please send it to me. I'll, I will, I will give it a rating from there. For now, I'm just going to give a rating or based on what I've seen. Uh, this is Master Sweden Art to anyone who's got footage of the Mysterious Temple. A very, very good game. A good start to a game what I've seen. I'm giving up because my laptop's absolutely shit. Uh, but yeah, if you've got any videos or gameplay, please show them in. And I will review it based on that uh, video and give a modern score, a newer score. However, here is your overview of the review from the start of the game. The game overall got three sets of sevens on first impression, graphics and story, and an eight on skill. The ground score looks quite low, but it isn't, trust me, 29 out of 40. It could be up for debate to gain the extra mark to make it 30, but that's up to you guys in the comments. Please comment down below if it should get at least 30 marks.
Thank you, Mr. Swim Platformage. Okay, here is the leaderboard so far. So the scoreboard looks like this. Still top with 39 points is Jigglypuff12345 with K the Necromancer. Second is Swimmer18 with Black and White with 38. And third is Pixel Kitten with Pixel Kitten's Bad Day with 35. These could easily be top still. Uh, the new entry, Swim Platformage, comes in a fifth place position. Meanwhile, MDNY is still bottom with 19 out of 40. Alright, thank you, thank you guys for watching. Don't worry, this channel will soon. I'm so close to the end of my exams. You can probably see on the chat there the green thing. That is my exam timetable. It's got tons of exams still left. Uh, at time recording, I have just finished for the holidays before doing another 12 or 10 exams. But anyway, uh, we've got about two, three weeks left of this. But don't worry, Spurly Game Reviews will possibly be back. We'll be crowning our winner of Spurly 1 Review and also the channel will be returning to normal. Anyway, based on that note, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>